السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله This is Muhannad recording for the daily reminder Today don't belittle any good deed that you do to a Muslim A Bedouin came to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and he said يا رسول الله إنا قوم من أهل البادية فعلمنا شيئا ينفعنا الله تبارك وتعالى به Teach us something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us with. We are Bedouin. And he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا. Don't belittle any good deed that you do. ولو أن تفرغ من دلوك في إناء المستسقي. Even if it was something like pouring water from your bucket to someone else's. أو أن تلقى أخاك ووجهك إليه منبسط. Or you meet your brother with a, cheer, with a cheerful face. Note that the Prophet وسلم, gave examples that involve benefiting other people. Because he said in another hadith, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, للناس. The most beloved people in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those who are beneficial to others. So if you want to know from among your friends, from among your peers, who is the one who Allah loves the most? Simply check the one on your Facebook friend or your phone or your phone contact list. Check for the one who benefits others the most. This is the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the most. The most beloved action to Allah is happiness that you bring to the heart of another Muslim. Or you, or you relieve him from some distress, or you pay off his debt, or push away hunger from him. And the ending of this hadith is so beautiful. وَلَأَنْ أَمْشِيَ فِي حَاجَةِ أَخِي أَحَبُّ إِلَيَّ مِنْ أَنْ أَعْتَكِفَ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ شَهْرًا To go and walk and go out of the masjid to, for someone who's in need and help him out is more beloved to me than secluding myself in worship and doing a'tikaf in the masjid in Nabawi for a whole month for those who favor worship and extreme levels of worship over helping others Prophet ﷺ is telling you it's more beloved to him after you do the five daily prayers to go help someone who is in need How does Allah values good deeds? How does Allah evaluate our actions? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cares about the effort more than the result. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants the quality of our actions, not the quantity. Let me give you an example. When I was newly married, my wife was not into cooking much. And she, one day she wanted to prepare a mansaf for me. So she spent the whole day and she asked friend and got the recipe and tried her best. But at the end of the day, that was not the best meal I had. So she was embarrassed and she's like, I told her, baby, I care. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to enjoy it because it's coming from your hand. Because you put the effort into it. And, and to Allah is the best of examples. Allah will consider our efforts, not the result. Let me give you an example. Imagine two students, one of them who puts his efforts and studies really hard and he barely gets a B plus. Another person who is lazy but super smart and he gets an A. In the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wallahu a'lam, the one who puts the effort, even if he got a lower grade, Allah will value his deed because he put the effort. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and he is fair. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in a hadith, سبق درهم مئة ألف درهم Sometimes one penny, one dollar that you donate for the sake of Allah with sincerity and you have maybe nothing else to offer might beat, might become better than a hundred thousand dirhams that others may donate. I have a beautiful story about good deeds 
no matter how little they are, I will share it with you in the next episode, inshallah. But for now, don't belittle the little, don't belittle any good deeds. This was Mohannad from The Daily Reminder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.